welcome <coughs> once again for our lesson 10. Hope you are following. Hope you are with us here. And uh, yesterday we were together here. And I left you with some work at the end of the lesson. I hope you did it. It was about Amazon. I asked you to write Amazon in full and how it is contributing to his in Somalia. Somalia is one of the African countries that are said to have turned into a failed state. There was no functional government, no functional army, no police, no civil society. It was completely a failed state, a country that was full of violence. And many of the citizens had run away, secret in the neighboring countries, Uganda inclusive, as refugees. And we have so many of them here in Uganda. Thank God for our country, Uganda, so, that is so accommodative. However, the African Union took an initiative to ensure that Somalia, as a sort of a failed state, gets back on track to rebuild herself. And one of the contributions Ayo had to do was to form, uh, I can call it a military, an army, a joint army, in the names of Amazon, to try to help Somalia pick up from its pieces. So Amazon is there, hope you did it, and what it is. When we meet, we will do a lot about that, but I hope you did it. Today I want us to open up on something else called regional economic groupings. Regional economic groupings. regional economic groupings. <clears throat> when we are discussing about OAU, we realize that one of the reasons why OA was put into place was to promote integration of the African continent, where countries in the various regions of Africa, let's say in East Africa, West Africa, Central, are able to work together as a regional bloc for purposes of development. OAU, yes, did some work in the area of integration, but it did not fully achieve it, whereby some of the regional blocks that were found, or founded by then, collapsed, could not function well. And some of those that managed to exist have kept on revolving revolve into some other, you know, organizations. But the whole essence is about regional integration. Countries in a given region, in a specific, specific geographical region, being able to work together for purposes of uh, gaining or enjoying economic benefits. There are so many other words or terms that could be used to mean regional economic groupings. Here, so we shall look at major the terms that are related to this. We can talk of uh, one economic blocks, economic blocks. We can add S, and uh, when we talk of economic blocks, we can call it regional economic groupings. You can call it. Uh, you can call them. Uh, regional economic integrations, all those words could mean the same. We have words here that we come across as common markets. Common markets. It is 
us another word that we cannot you know, finish this topic without uh, mentioning or coming across. There are words like talents, Their words like talents, it shouldn't appear new to you. Their words like market, market, I will add you this one, a commodity, a commodity. Those are among the many words that we could come across that if we focus on them can help us understand what we really mean or what this talk is about. Economic blocks, last time we talked on, or when we were looking at OA, we looked at some of those words, block. And we said when we talk of a block, we are meaning countries coming together, teaming up to work together to achieve a common goal. So when they say economic block, it means countries are teaming up, are coming together to work together for purposes, economic benefits. So apart from being called economic blocks, they can also be called regional economic groupings. They can also be called regional economic integrations. They are all terms that can be used to mean this. So what are economic blocks, or regional economic blocks, or regional integrations? We are saying a group of countries, if it is in a plural form, they can say what is meant by an economic block, a regional economic block, that is the singular, singular form. But if we are in plural form, if it is put in plural form, then it is important that you maintain the plural format in your answering as well. So we are saying, what are economic blocks? I may not write, but I'm going to speak verbal, then you understand that. Economic blocks, when you talk of economic blocks, or regional economic blocks, or regional economic groupings, we are saying a group of countries, a group of countries that come together to enjoy economic benefits. The major intention, major results, some countries have intentions of political, uniting for political, for having a, a political federation, a, a, a regional federation. In East Africa, we are gearing towards having a federation where countries in East Africa can have one army, can have one government, can have one par parliament or parliament for purposes of working together politically. But majorly economic blocks Major focus, major focus on economic benefits. Where people in that region are able to trade together, they are able to share so many things. That is the economic blocks. That's why we are saying economic blocks or regional integrations or regional economic blocks are a group of countries that come together to enjoy economic benefits. Hope you understand that well. Then come to common markets. Common marks are not so different from economic blocks, but I would want to help you differentiate a bit, so it is the same. You see? When uh, we talk of the common market, I would want you to explain it this way. It is a trading area. Common market is a trading area for countries in the same region. We can take an example of the East African community. This is an example of the common market. So it is an economic block. You see? But we are saying you can as well call it a common market. But then when we talk of a common market, we are meaning that area demarcated by countries in that same area or region for purposes of trade. So a common market, we are saying, is a trading area for countries in the same region. You can as well explain common market or common markets as group of countries that unite to promote trade. Eh? Group of countries that unite, that come together to promote trade or to carry out trade. 
Yahabu Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, and the rest, they come together for purposes of easing trade, for purposes of promoting trade. So that area where goods are able to move freely from one border of a country to another, from one country border to another country border, freely without major hindrances, we call that a common market. So it can also be an economic block as well. But still, we have five million economic blocks. But that's the simple explanation I want my children to have. Tariffs. Tariffs, a layman's word I can use to mean tariffs, are taxes. Taxes. Right? Taxes. I want you to appreciate or to get to know that most of our governments, world over, the major source of income are taxes. It is after taxing people's economic activities, the trading activities that take place around, the trading activities that people carry out. There is what forms, it is what forms the basis for the income of a particular country. So what happens is that when countries decide to form an economic block, they come together and try to have common common you know common understanding on how they should levy they should tax the goods that are crossing or getting into and out of their countries so when we talk of tariffs we are meaning we are major referring to the taxation system of the country on goods and services that are used by people in that particular country so, countries in a regional block and a common market tend normally to come together to have common taxes charged. For instance, if uh, we have, uh, for instance, uh, in East Africa, if we uh, have a common market, a regional block functioning, it is prudent that we have common tariffs, common taxes charged on all goods that are within East Africa, and even those that are coming in, for purposes of being able to promote regional trade. So market, when you talk of the market, I know you have markets even near your homes. When you talk of the market, you are meaning an area where goods and services per se are bought and sold from. I'm a service provider, I'm teaching, it is a service. You see? So we have that market of, in the teaching kind of, uh, you know, service. It is the market in, in, in one form or the other. Goods being sold, tangible goods, or what you have at home, you normally buy them from markets. So it's just a trading area where goods and services are bought and sold from. Then Ecomage, I wanted to bring it out here. Ecomage is a military group that actually is not a military group, it's a military wing, or an army, majorly for the common market of East of West Africa, ECOWAS. So uh, ECOWAS, that is a West African common uh, group, West African regional group, has an army, has a military wing alongside it, whereby in the case of any instability in a member country, ECOMA is able to come in and survive. So briefest, these are some of the words that you people I don't want to be confused of. I wanted to, I, wa I would like to give you general objectives for forming regional economic groupings in various uh, regions of Africa. Objectives. Uh, 
Number one, to promote regional trade. It is prudent that countries in the same region can be able to exchange their goods before they think of far away markets, European markets, Asian markets. They should ensure that goods within their region are able to be consumed by people within that particular region. So reason number one, to promote regional trade. Regional trade. Sure that goods that are produced within their regions are consumed regionally before they can think of farm markets. Point number two, to allow free movement of goods and services among member states. To allow free movement of goods and services among member states. So it is intended to enable member countries be able to access goods from their neighbors without hurdles or much tariffs as well. I'm also saying to promote regional cooperation, call it unity among member states. countries in the same region tend to desire to solve their differences without going to war, being able to cooperate in the area of social, being able to cooperate in the area of security, to be able to stabilize their regions. It is the intention of the AU to, to some extent. I also say to enable member states to get goods they cannot produce on their own. Believe me, you know man is an island. And if no man is an island, it is prudent that you cooperate with some other people around to be able to acquire what you can. As Ugandans, we cannot claim we have it all. There are things we lack, and therefore we are able to access them from our neighbors. And it's important that we work together in what they call a regional block or an economic group. So I also say in joint next two. Let's get goods. goods. They cannot they cannot produce on their own. That is the intention. Member states to be able. And now member states get goods they can produce on their own. That is our intention number one. For AU, for member states to come up with regional economic groupings, call them a common markets or regional economic blocks. We are also saying to widen market for goods produced in member states. To widen.
attempt to make these points long, long make uh, long sentences for purposes of you being able to draw a meaning out of them. So we are saying to widen markets for goods and services produced by member states in the region. Like I said before, it is intended for the first consumers to be those in the region where those countries belong before they can think of far countries. Lastly, to promote peace and security. So there are so many other points. But promote peace and security among member states in the region. Promote peace and security among member states in the region. Believe me, you peace for me should mean peace for my neighbor, and peace for my neighbor should mean peace for me. Peace for Uganda should be peace for Kenya, Tanzania, and peace for Tanzania, Kenya should mean peace for Uganda as well. So the reverse is the truth. So we are saying security cannot be attained, peace cannot be attained when you are towards your neighbors, or if you cannot solve your differences with your neighbors. So member states acknowledge, believe that there will be differences, there will be threats to war. But can countries in that very region, in that specific geographical region, come together to iron out their differences? If they are able to do that, believe me, you, that will be peace and security among member states. So, in simple terms, these are some of the reasons, the objectives as to why AU, as to why the AU, as to why countries in various regions of Africa have come up with regional economic groupings. I want to stop here, but still, I want to ask you to do some work, just for your own good, just a small, simple question for you. Identify. Identify and uh, five regional economic groupings that are operating in the different regions of Africa. Identify and uh, five regional economic groupings that are operating in the various regions of Africa. Identify one in East Africa, identify in West Africa, Central, North, and the rest. Once you do that, we will be on the same page and to be a sign that we are picking what I'm saying. I want to stop here and uh, we will build on from that same question I've left you with and uh, we will go on well. Hope you are following the work that we have before. Please keep following it because don't expect us to repeat the work that we are doing, that we are doing here. If you mess up and don't do work, it will be, it will be not good for you. Thank you for following, thank you for viewing, please keep up, may the good Lord bless you.